One of the first things you see in the trailer are these three characters who uh, enter the truck and see Clementine's group. But these people hold special significance. Now the first one you probably noticed is Bonnie. Bonnie was in the last episode, uh, Bonnie was a playable character. Very noticeable. Bonnie, no brainer. Don't need to point her out. But somebody who does need to be pointed out is Tavia. Now Tavia is to the left and you've probably noticed it this yourself. I mean you might not have. It's easy to miss. Um, but I'll put a reference shot up just, just in case you uh, don't believe it. It is Tavia. And uh, Tavia was basically a character in 400 days. And she wasn't a playable character. She was the character who said, come with me to uh, my camp and we'll be free. And I personally got all my group to go with her. Uh, my group being Russell, Shelley, all those people. And I believe that if your group went with Tavia, they'll end up at Carver's camp. Uh, it makes sense, she's here, and she's obviously here of her own volition, she has a weapon, she's part of the group. So I think that Russell and co, if you made them go with Tavia, will be fucked, basically. They'll be here um, as civilians, but they won't be able to escape, they'll be like luxury prisoners, almost. But this does uh, confirm a theory that was a... Uh, kind of already speculated early on, um, I mean it's still a surprise of course, it will change a lot of things but it's something a lot of people were thinking yeah that's probably what's going to happen and it is what's happened, this confirms it and uh, this is only up for a few seconds, I've had to slow down the video to show you this uh, so it, as I said it's probably one of the things you could miss quite easily but it's something I, sort of, I thought I should point out uh, Tavi is here, uh, so that explains why Bonnie is with Carver because Bonnie I think Bonnie went with Tavia no matter what. Like a lot of the characters in 400 Days might not have went with Tavia unless you picked the right decision. Or wrong decision as it turns out. Uh, but Bonnie's the only one who always went with Tavia. So it would make sense that Bonnie and Tavia are here in the trailer because they're not determined. They're not situational. They're always going to be in that situation. Whereas Russell isn't in the trailer because he wouldn't be in everybody's save. So uh, yeah, I think that uh, your group will be in Carver's camp, your 400 days group will be in Carver's camp, and uh, obviously Tavia is somewhat of an enemy. There are some folks might be sore about what happened. Well, that's all in the past now. Now this character holds special significance as well. Um, it isn't confirmed who this character is, but I truly believe it is Anna Korea from the uh, first season of Walking Dead. Uh, now if you remember when you went to Crawford, there was a tape you could find and it showed Anna Korea uh, being forced to have an abortion in Crawford or else she would have to leave and fend for herself. She chose to stab the doctor who told her about the abortion and uh, run away from Crawford. Now her fate wasn't discussed, it was unknown as, what, as to what happened to her but if you look at this uh, reference shot, if you look at this reference shot and compare the two characters, obviously one has short hair, but they they do look alarmingly similar, and there is a strong chance that these are the same character. It's possible they're not. This is just speculation, but I do think that these are the same character. Um, even the clothes, I know that's kind of a stretch, but the clothes are similar, and uh, the face looks pretty similar as well. So. Uh, Something to look out for, if it is Anna Korea, it'll be interesting to talk to her and learn what happened at Crawford and uh, see what's happened. You gotta help me find the strength to forgive you. Everyone get to work! Alright, so here's the first sign that the zombies are going to invade Carver's camp. Now it is known, it's shown in the promo materials, uh, so it's not a major spoiler. But as you can see, this part of the wall is um, kind of loose. But it's not totally fallen over. And that could be a show like all oh, the zombies are breaking in gradually. Or, and this is what I believe will happen, you will find out that that's kind of loose and you'll open it to try and create chaos so that you and your group can leave. And um, that seems like the most likely thing. I mean, it's hinting that there is kind of fault in his camp. That's the kind of first fault you see. Obviously there are fault faults in terms of like the kind of morale and stuff, but that's the first major fault you see, and that's something that the, the team, your team, 
will probably try and exploit throughout the um, episode. And um, although the zombies do invade, I think it will be kind of intentional, and I think it will be simply just to create chaos and uh, give them a chance to escape. How was your first night in the yard? You mean my first night in prison? Some of these folks ain't too keen on leaving. It's up to us to figure out a way out of here. Now, the guy who's hitting Clementine uh, appears a few times in the trailer, and I don't know what character he is specifically, he just appears to be a goon under Carver's control right now. But, you can see that he, um, he's hostile towards Clementine, he hits her, so you can assume that he is going to be somewhat of an antagonist. Now, Carver seems to be a weird character in the sense that his agenda is unknown. Yes, he did kill people uh, in the last episode, but his motives are a bit kind of blurred. You don't know what he's really trying to get, and he, he could be a good character. He could be a, um, a hero. You don't know what the, your group did. Your group could have been the bad guys. Uh, so for now, I think this guy is probably going to be the antagonist um, in some way. Maybe it's just for this scene. Maybe I'm just delving too much into it, but it seems like this guy might be the kind of force holding you back. Carver would obviously be a problem, but I think this guy's probably going to be a, a bigger problem. A more immediate problem as well, actually. Bonnie, all I need from you is to just not care where I am for 15 minutes. Now here we know the uh, Clementine and her group are betraying Carver by going up here, because in the scene just beforehand, she had to convince Bonnie to uh, keep a secret. She had to convince Bonnie to kind of trust her. And uh, we know this is kind of going against the rules of Carver right here, by going up here and having a look what's happening. But the interesting thing isn't what's going on with Clementine, it's who's watching what's going on. Now you have the obvious people, you have Sarita, you have Kenny, you have uh, the woman who's given birth, whose name escapes me, you have Sarah, but you have two other people. You have who we believe to be the woman from uh, season one, standing in the background, and you also have another guy pulling the winch. Now I'm not sure who the guy is who's pulling the winch. Um, don't believe it's Russell. It's uh, Russell wouldn't have aged that much. Hasn't been that long. Um, but it's just a different character. So uh, straight away we know that um, Anna Krita and this guy who's pulling the winch are going to be on our side and are going to be willing to help us. Whether that's a default thing, whether that happens whatever your choices, or whether that's based on your choices, is unknown at the moment. Maybe it depends on what kind of ch choices you choose in terms of dialogue, and um, maybe the better you are with your speech kind of choices, the more people who trust you, the more people who join you. So maybe Bonnie can help you if you say the right thing. That would seem likely. That would make good use of Telltale speech features, and uh, yeah, I think that would be the way to go. Whether they do that or not is a different matter. Uh, I guess we'll just see how it goes when it's out. But uh, right now we know for a fact that these two people, Anna Korea and the uh, black gentleman, are two people who can help you depending on their, what the situation is in the actual game. There are possibilities right now. But uh, it's good to know. Good to know that we can at least get some help from uh, some of Carver's gang. Bear in mind, bear in mind that um, they will also know some of the people who came from this group. So uh, they'll know Alvin, and they'll have relationships with Alvin already. So maybe it's based on that basis, you know? Maybe it's based on uh, Alvin and Nick and all them getting friends to help. All depends, all depends on how Telltale themselves set out the situation. But right now, what you should probably be uh, thinking is, where's Elvin? Where's Nick? Where's Carlos? Because that's what I'm wondering. And the answer isn't given to us. Do they die? Are they put in a different group? Are they confined? Do they betray us? Well, I guess we'll have to wait until the re release date. A lot of questions are brought up. There are some answers, for sure there are some answers, but there are also a hell of a lot more questions. Okay. 
Now obviously here you can tell that uh, these zombies are invading Carver's camp. It's pretty obvious and if we look at the cover photo for this episode, yeah, Telltale's kind of image they use on Facebook and their kind of poster, um, you can tell that the zombies have overrun the camp. I mean I knew this from quite a long time ago. It's obvious on the little covered photo that, that that's Carver's camp. And on the photo, it's you and Sarah. And I, I, I think that Sarah's father, Carlos, will die, and you'll have to protect Sarah. That's what it seems. That's what it seems like it's leading up to. And um, that's something that would make sense. So the place didn't get overrun. Maybe you cause it to get overrun, so you have an escape method. Maybe they get overrun anyway. But um, Carver did say last episode, or in the previews at least, that uh, there's a storm coming, so maybe he kind of anticipated this happening, but it, it certainly is happening, it's certainly evident that it's going to be growing a bit weird. Here, when Clementine reaches for the radio, I think the radio will be the cause of most, if not, I think the radios will be the cause of any kind of conflict. Uh, inside Carver's group. I think you try and steal a radio to con contact Luke and um, it backfires. He notices there's a radio gone and somebody tries to take the blame. Maybe that's how Carlos dies. He takes the blame for Clementine stealing the radio and then Sarah blames Clementine because obviously it's her fault. Maybe Kenny, Kenny does it, takes the blame. Not too sure at the moment, it's hard to tell. But there are a few scenes up ahead that would kind of lead me to believe that that is what's going to happen. So she takes the radio. That guy's obviously an antagonist. Carver's angry. Here you see uh, Sarah screaming. And again, this probably is because her father dies. I mean, it could be something else, but the situation that Clementine and Sarah are in looks pretty kind of bleak. And uh, the only thing that would make her scream that much would probably be her father's death, because I'm sure she's seen zombies before. I know she's kind of shellied, but she must have seen zombies at some point or another. And she, her reaction's a bit too kind of drastic for it to just be a zombie kind of invasion. I think somebody she cares about probably died. And here, you see Kenny going out for vengeance. You don't need to see this. This could be uh, because of a multitude of reasons. Maybe it's after Carlos dies, and he goes and gets revenge on uh, Carver. You don't really know. Maybe Carver, maybe Carlos gets bit and Kenny has to kill him, like you did with Larry. Um, but one thing is for sure, Kenny is going to try and get revenge, and something's going to happen to Sarah, which will make her kind of break down. It could be the zombie apocalypse itself, it could be the kind of zombies overrunning the camp, but I truly do believe that her reaction was too kind of grandiose for it to just be because of zombies. I think it would be because of someone she cares about dying. That's the only kind of reaction you would have to that, you know? It would be an overreaction otherwise. But we'll see when it releases. Go on. You don't need to see this. And plus, on this uh, Kenny scene, if you look at his hand, he has some sort of sickle type thing as a weapon, obviously. And this is the same setting with the floodlights. Um, as a few seconds before when Clementine got attacked. So um, I think that one of the crew will become a zombie and uh, Kenny will try and kill him. As I said, it probably Carlos will get bit, Kenny will have to kill him and uh, that will be that. And uh, maybe maybe Sarah runs in and sees it happen and then screams. It, it's, it's all down for interpretation uh, but it does seem like Kenny's about to do something he's in regret and I don't think he would say that specific line if he was about to kill Carver, because Carver would deserve it in their eyes. I think it would be if he's going to do something along the lines of, as, as I said, the uh, Larry situation. 